So the program is retrain the brain, <coughs> release your stress and discover inner peace. There are three, three statements. Uh, retrain the brain. There's a lot of buzz around scientific community that uh, especially the mindfulness or any meditation practice changes the structure and the function of the brain. So what what is what it is for me? <clears throat> you will ask. So because all these meditation practices helps you not only to achieve optimum level of well-being, but it also prevents and drops, or I can say dissolves, the causes of the uh, symptoms. So take an example that if you have chronic pain, means continues for more than six months, so doctors and these scientists have found out that this pain pathways are created by the brain even when the pain do not exist. And there it comes when you change the structure and a function of a brain. Uh, what is in scientific community is known as neuroplasticity. <coughs> And I'm getting one email from California. So what he did? Neuro gym. For what? To earn one million dollars in 30 days. And then he introduced the practices, more or less couple of practices like this. You want to go there or you want to be here? One million. Karun? So instead of saying neuroplasticity, and they, they created almost 15 different videos, and they claim they're right, you know, because we don't read uh, the small letters in the statements as a disclaimer, oh, we say, yes, I can earn many dollars uh, by Neurogym. So you all have to think that, is there anything like a neurogen? <laughs> and these things are highly published. Now, why I said this? Mindfulness or meditation is a journey. As we breathe 24 by 7, we have to live into that state. In order to live into that state, we have to follow some principles that has been validated. Sometimes you see something is valid, but it may not be true. All cats are mammals. Yeah, I'm also a mammal. So valid argument is that I'm also a cat. So we have to put a right argument. In order to put a right argument, we need a premise. That is what is principles. That is the fundamental of the scientific research and also the meditation. And if we don't follow meditation, close your eyes and live in peace. Close your eyes and see the blue light. Why shouldn't I see the blue light with my eyes open? When I can see the blue light with my eyes open. <laughs> no, I'm just putting forth an argument. Doc, you're not smiling, you're serious. No, I'm just listening. Did I say anything <laughs> wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is another valid argument. <laughs> so meditation is neither right nor wrong. Now see that. He, she did not refer to the meditation. But that is how we argue. Why I am opening up this topic? I am opening up this topic, my friend. We are constantly talking to our minds with invalid arguments. I have read in the Google, continuous headache 
maybe something related to related to cancer and now my my thought is cooking constantly cooking why i say that the life evolves you start living in the state of the peace and happiness when you understand your mind first when you understand your mind then we have to see how to evolve this mind how to hasten the process of evolution and there this kundalini and the tantra tradition came <coughs> What is that process of evolution? My mind is constantly thinking of right, wrong, anxiety, hate, and love. You know, you, you come to my home and then I hate you. The next, mo next moment I start loving. Third moment, you know, I'm in anxiety. Fourth moment, you know, I'm running after a pleasure. So that is why we talk only about this mental wandering, distraction, and delusion. That is what was given to us by default. What you understand by default? Huh? By default, we don't have a tail, uh, but we have this mind which is constantly wandering. Now, pay attention, and then we'll start with it. Have you ever thought this? Why the mind is wandering? So the answer given by our master, it says, I have explained in the last week also, but I don't know whether I did I explain it yesterday or did you notice it? The matter, does this bad has any problem? No problem at all. Does this bad says that, oh no, I have a lot of stress, you know? Huh? Don't put in front of Yaakov or don't put in front of Anna. Does it say? Do you have any problem in deep sleep? Now compare the two. In deep sleep, do you have any problem? We are a living being, we are a conscious being, and there is no problem. So what the science, what the, our Eastern wisdom says, in the pure self, there is no problem. In the matter, there is no problem. When they come together, the moment they contact, what happens? Mind is created. The moment they come together, the mind is created. Now what this mind is doing? Mind is constantly running after the body and mind hears the word immortality, freedom, liberation. So then what mind picks up the properties of a matter and it is always scared. Why it is scared? Body is always changing. But I want freedom. But I want liberation. So there the principle comes. It says we are not seeking freedom for the mind. Pay attention. We are not seeking freedom for the mind. We are seeking freedom from the mind. How simple is it? You understand? Freedom for the mind. Means what? My mind says I have a pain. So you follow the mind. Oh, I have lot of pain. You know, I cannot do it. And what is freedom from the mind? Mind has given you this experience. You follow your right path. Mind says my honey is crazy. Mind says. I know you never say it. I trust you. I believe you. <laughs> you will never say it. I know it. Did you ever say no? <laughs> no. But your mind says. So when the mind says, the moment you are aware, last thing and then we'll start with the practice. Pay attention to these uh, principles. When the mind says, my honey is crazy, then what happens to me? I become my mind. And what is meditation? Freedom from the mind. It can happen in a, just in a fraction of a second. Yeah? 
it, it happens in a fraction of a second. Oh, I'm not the mind. It is the mind has perceived the person is good or bad, but otherwise all people, all human beings are the same. Can you live into that state of awareness? That is the freedom from the mind, and you are always in meditation. It doesn't mean that if something is wrong, you don't say it is wrong, but it doesn't influence you. No, it is separate. It doesn't influence you. It doesn't emotionalize you. There is no emotional content. This mind does the emotional blackness. Transformation of this mind is what meditation is. So in today's session, the first step will continue for five or seven minutes. I answered your question. I have a pain, you know, I cannot do it. <laughs> freedom from the mind and freedom for the mind. It is because you told me, so I started with that topic. So you, you guys give me the topic. Huh, you guys. No, 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 it's okay. No, I'm just inspiring you. So when you use the guy as a singular, in India it means cows. Huh? I'm making you understand all, uh, all the guys here. <laughs> so the first step would be for five to seven minutes of watching, observing the mind. Is the mind working on me? We say continue working. I'm different from you. <clears throat> so we reach to the mini mindfulness state. The mind is, gets inspired, it enjoys. The second step, it has got six steps, six points. The second step. So we'll breathe different and then after breathing for a certain time we observe. Why you observe when I'm observing? Because you have to learn from your experiences. Huh? You have to learn from your experiences. You did the practice, now you're experiencing the state of the calmness. Yes, that creates an imprint in the mind. In turn, that is going to change the mind. So normally what we do, oh, let us do, close your eyes and meditate. And I have some objection why we meditate with eyes closed. We'll talk later in a higher meditation. The third step will be harmonizing, balancing. What is harmonizing and balancing? So according to the Eastern wisdom, we say that energy and the mind, when they merge together, it brings a state of synergy and a harmony, deeper inside. What is that harmony uh, indicates that your mind is now less distracted, mind is not getting obsessed with other things, mind may uh, for make you fall into unconscious sleep, it is okay, let it continue. And the fourth step will be the real practice of, real journey of meditation. It is something all the first three steps, you have parked the car outside, now you are moving inside. Then you can say that, yes. Huh? That, then you can say that I'm inside the home. Keep a smile. Where are you, Mana? Yeah? Okay, let, let us start. Follow it. It is a guided meditation, remember. Guided meditation means what? Do you remember? You borrow my mind. You work on your mind. How you work on mind? Keep your mind aside. Mind will complain. Mind will say a lot of things. Let your mind say it. And you have borrowed my mind. You follow. Even if I say you have to do it for five minutes, you continue doing it. Don't bring in your mind. Mind say, oh, now today I'm feeling. No. No. To your mind. At least only for a couple of minutes, my friends. Only for an hour. And that too in love and care. So sit or lie down, close your eyes. Sit or lie down, close your eyes. And uh, first step, we follow the same first step, my friends. <coughs> Let us do uh, a simple eyes are closed gently. Did you close your eyes? Yes. Did you close your eyes gently? 
you see that that is the premise based on that uh, that creates a philosophy of the science and also the eastern wisdom so i said i said closed gently and you feel it it is comfortable now look at the neck joint and you feel the sensation yes because it is your neck joint and when you feel the sensation your mind also sees it is comfortable and the steadiness suddenly what happens to the mind the mind says my honey is crazy for example it's not or mind starts thinking of something else so now what happens then you are carried away by the mind so what i am saying guided practices you borrow my mind you keep your mind aside mind says no uh, the teacher is crazy okay thank you you continue the journey again another example in order to succeed every time another example you are driving a car you have lot of thoughts about people places and objects you never draw you never stop driving the car until you reach home and thoughts are coming and going that is another way to keep your mind aside this is an analogy and understanding an example i know you 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 get upset when there is a traffic jam when you have look at the head and the neck and uh, Uh, traffic jam doesn't give you anxiety but we blame others what should we do so the same thing you will blame body no my body has an itching so i should move it move it you are listening to your mind so now again look at the shoulder joint you feel the sensation my friends when you feel the sensation check you are comfortable and when you are comfortable also experience the steadiness now look at both the arms chest in the belly look at the chest in the belly what happens to the mind you feel the sensation i'm not teaching you to focus and imagine or visualize and see the colors no any higher meditation any right meditation will never include this a point of focus and you are already in advanced journey so the chest and the belly feel the sensation and experience the relaxation and the stillness look at the hip joint knee joints ankle joints what exactly we are doing in this step we are not doing any we are just looking at it my friends your mind should be 100% with me then what it means otherwise the mind will take an excuse okay let me continue to think he continues to say like this i have no issue then you are missing the point so you are looking at both the legs means what mind is returning from outside to inside on the body you feel the sensation and then you experience the stillness entire body now see you have entire body feeling the sensation relaxation and the stillness today is a good day because of the temperature and if you succeed in that it would be a wonderful thing bring your right hand on the nostril close your right nostril and start inhaling long in the hissing breath from the left nostril keep your focus deep inside the forehead simple today we will pick up the center of the wisdom why the knowledge of the self is the power that liberates you from the mind and awakens the peace to you
long in the hissing breath. Now close your left nostril and start with the right. The same long in the hissing breath. It should be long, it should be fast, and it should be hissing. And keep looking deep inside the forehead. Long, deep in the hissing. Long, deep in the hissing. I will tell you why I started with this. Today the temperature is down and it is good to keep your nostrils open. Why? In this journey, we say it purifies the mind. And now bring the hands down with both the nostrils together. Long in the hissing breath. With both the nostrils, the hand is down. Hand is down, yes, continue. Continue, please. Long, hissing, deep breath. Long, hissing, deep breath. Hissing sound is there, and that hissing sound helps you to expand the belly with the breath going in, then the chest, but keep your body totally still. Simple steps. Don't start thinking what will happen. Nothing will happen. And stop it. Do nothing. No movement into the body. Now we will learn from our own experiences. Look at the right leg. When you look at the right leg, you feel the sensation, relaxation in the stillness. And that relaxation you may experience in terms of tingling, some numbness, or maybe freshness. You're already safe in that practice. Looking at the left, uh, left leg, you are looking at the left leg. You're not moving the left leg, my friends. Sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Look at the belly and the chest. So you're looking at the belly and the chest. Feel the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. Simple. I'm not saying create sen rela sensation, create relaxation, create stillness. When the mind starts going inside, there is a natural tendency of the body to keep the stillness. When you park the car outside, does your car move or starts playing? Tell me. No. Why? Then the body is parked now. Why it wants to move? It moves only because I'm carried away by the mind. What we are seeking, freedom from the mind, not freedom for the mind. Looking at the head and the neck, the entire body, there is a sensation and there is a relaxation in the stillness. So the goal of the second step, I've been talking, keep remember the two points. And once it will go into your head and you have those challenges in your life, you will do it. Purification of the mind from the impurities. And what are the impurities of the mind? The delusion, the obsession, the laziness, the wandering state, likes and dislikes. These are the impurities. So for some time, those impurities drops, only for some time, with any breathing practice. Never claim, oh, breathing will liberate you, it never happened. 
So now look in, keep looking inside the forehead and start breathing gently and playfully. Have you seen breathing of a dog? But don't open your mouth, the nostrils, continue. Playfully, the dog is never tired when he breathes gently and playfully. Continue. You will start experiencing some changes inside the forehead. That is important. Some people can have those changes within few seconds and they are already on advanced journey. Others may take some time. Continue. And when your mind says, no, I cannot do further. Did you listen to your mind or do, are you listening to me? We are breaking the threshold limit. You know, I, I can guide you in a different ways. And that's what I always try to do. I always like to put my 200%. Continue, continue. The mind will say, no, I feel something inside the head, inside the body. Yes, that is why we are doing it. That is why we are doing it. Now see the logic. And if you follow this logic, the thing happens. Now stop it. Now do nothing. Just experience the change. And I will use the four words. Look, feel, sensation, awareness. Out of that looking, Experience the change. Flow with the change. Head in the neck. Look. Feel. Sensation. Awareness. Now if I ask you to look at this car, look at the car, feel it, sense it, and become aware. Do you go and move, start moving the car? Body is your car. Car is already parked. We're not driving it. Why am I uh, making you aware? So that your mind continues to live and move within. So simple to understand. It's a long journey. So that, that's why every week I uh, talk about this. Now look at the both arms. Both arms, look, feel, sensation, awareness. Yesterday I was giving an example, one person was not understanding. So I asked her that you look at me. Any time in your, in your mind, the thought comes that I'm your honey? No. So honey is a label. If you break that label, the mind drops inside. What we are doing, same thing. Chest in the valley. Look, feel, sensation, awareness. Simplest thing. And that will induce a deeper state of the calmness. I'm aware of it. I know it happens. So why it doesn't happen, the mind creates those labels of likes and dislikes, of relationship, and millions of labels. So this breathing practice helps you to drop that label. Label is dropped, your mind is living with it. Look, both the legs, sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Once you understand, and then you do it and you experience the change. The life changes. In that state of look, feel, sensation and awareness of the body, take a deep, silent and slow breath. Remember, 
No noise of the breath. You need not to be in a hurry. Uh, slowly, gently, breath is going in into the belly, then into the ribs, up to the throat. And while breathing out, lips are together. Make the humming sound louder, deeper, and longer. I'll continue with that step. Yes, louder, deeper, and longer. Your exhalation should produce the humming sound. Inhalation is totally silent. It is deep, silent and slow. Why? It will raise your awareness of the mind. But why we need that? To discover our true nature that is inside. How simple? Continue. Louder, deeper and longer humming but deep, silent and slow breath. Continue. Deep, silent and slow. Continue my friends, continue, do not stop in the middle, keep your mind aside, your body, the car is already parked outside, you may experience some tingling, some uh, sinking of the body into the floor, rising up, it is going to happen, accept it, enjoy that state. Enjoy the state the mind is going within. It is leaving its ground. Continue, my friend. Be wonderful, wonderful. this humming continue the deep silent and slow breathing pay attention for the next step as you inhale without making a sound deep silent and slow two more things the moment you start inhaling move the mind from the top of the head to the tailbone first thing and as you move your mind from the top of the head to the tailbone, simply sing in your mind, um, mentally, mentally, in your mind. And as the breath comes out, then what is going to happen? The mind moves from the tailbone to the top of the head. And it is happening in the space inside, as if you're looking casually. I'm not asking you to focus, visualize, see the colors, see the chakras, no. And if there are chakras, you will be able to see it. If there are gods and goddesses, you'll be able to see it. The breath is deep, silent and slow. The moment you inhale, the mind, movement of the mind is 
top of the head to the tailbone, saying mentally, in the moment the breath returns, inhalation, moving the mind from the tailbone to the top of the head, saying the same mantra. This is another way we harmonize at the same time we purify the mind. We'll talk in detail for understanding in the following week. The breath is going in. And mentally you are singing in your mind. Many issues are there, not only the purification, balancing, harmonizing. At the same time, if the breath is deep, silent and slow and rhythmic, you will prevent yourself falling into sleep and then what happens? Then you go deeper. There begins these visions and the colors and lot of a host of other things. These visions and colors, when they manifest naturally, they only mean how deeper the mind. But deeper has two meaning, I'll talk in later. Now, Drop the deeper breath. Let the breath be normal, but continue. The same journey. The breath goes in as if aim jumps. That sound of aim jumps from the top of the head to the tailbone. The breath returns, this normal breath, and it again jumps upward. Aim. So this time, the mental singing is very much aligned with the breath. Why I say so? I did talk about it. Energy in the mind has to merge together. Without changing the rate and the rhythm of the breath. So we are bypassing the body and the energy body too. Why? We want to discover our true nature. Aim, aim. But the mind makes the entire journey of the spine from the top of the head to the tailbone, from the tailbone to the top of the head. Continue. When our master knows and discovers that the entire group or individual has reached to a state of deeper sensation, relaxation and stillness and a calmness in the body, then it makes a big sense. Now, only one change, the perception change, the aim continues. The natural breath goes in. This time the mind jumps or drops, drop the mind from the top of the head in the spine until the belly button. And the mantra is the same. Aim, breath returns, the mind moves from the belly button inside to the top of the head. Aim, aim. I, I, you will understand this. I'll not talk about this, but I believe you will really understand where we are heading to. The Master says, long back, the chitta, the mind, has two causes to exist. 
One is the desire, clinging, impurities of the mind. And the other is prana, the energy. And if desire drops for a while, then what happens? Then the prana naturally rises up. Then you are open, you have opened the path for awakening. Isn't the same thing we are doing? You have to make out. But don't start thinking, continue doing the practice at present. And now the breath drops, breath goes in naturally, and your mind moves from the top of the head to the heart inside. Saying the same mantra, or aim. Accordingly adjust the sound, aim. 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 Do you drop it? So this time what is happening, the prana is moving into the, in between the center of intention or emotion or love and the wisdom. And if the aim flows in between, you discover, reveal the meaning of your life. But the actual journey is, now leave the heart center also. The breath goes in, look inside the forehead, drop aim, breath returns aim. Goes in aim, returns aim. So we did last week differently. And this week, we made the mind aware, at last we have to come here, continue. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Let everyone be happy. Sarve santu niramaya Let everyone be healthy. Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Let everyone be blessed. Let the blessing shower on us, all of us, equally without any reservation. Ma kashche dukha bhag bhavet Nothing, let no misery enter into life. Ha Shanti 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 Shanti
sensation. Stay there for a while. Bring your mind to the left hand. Lift your both the palms. Place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experiences. Now it is your turn, my friends, to share your experiences. Because who knows, you are sharing your experiences and other gets inspired. More or less they have the same. Whether it's whatever is your experiences and bring the hands down. Now you have. How are you my friend? Very good. Very good, calm, peace. Relax. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> How are you my friend? Oh, freezing, uh, because maybe the outer temperature. Okay, how are you, my friend? Oh. Heavy. Heavy, yeah. Tingly. Heavy, tingly, these sensations are very good. How are you, my friend? I'm really relaxed. Really relaxed. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, it's not an enjoyment, it's a uh, more of a... Peace. Very present. Very present. That's good. That brings the peace. How are you, my friend? Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah it has to, yes. How are you, my friend? It was very peaceful. Um, at the end, I felt like I was stepping into like a lake or a pond of water. Something like that. Lake, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lake and pond, you know, it tells you. Oh, she has been doing for many, many years. At least whenever, when I met her, I know her that she has been doing almost for seven, eight years. But, so it changes. Your commitment is required. If you are asking when to do meditation, how many minutes to do meditation, so then I throw the question. When to breathe? How many times to breathe? So, so that is the question. You know, uh, to live in meditation is that is the way. How are you, my friend? Good. Good. You will change. You are changing. How are you, my friend? Good. Relax. Good. Peaceful. Peaceful. You know, I was missing you. I think you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm not coming next week. I'm going to Arizona for an intensive program for twelve hours. Saturday six hours, Sunday six hours, and I'll return by Tuesday. So with somebody here. Uh, how are you, my friend? Mm -hmm, light. Light? Lightness. If you continue coming, then you'll see more light. <laughs> <laughs> how are you, my friend? Relaxed. Don't you feel 1% of relaxation? Um, not really. Huh? Not really? Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, that is, that is the, I think she is fourth bed. But what happened? Did you follow all the steps or your mind was working somewhere? Um, it was a combination. Like I had the sensations of being cold and some numbness and whatnot, but I found myself getting lost. So uh, getting lost. So the moment, yeah, a couple of things. The next time, two things. Next time when you join it, you do it near me. I'll take care of that mind. No, don't worry. I know it, how to do it. Don't worry. No, I'm sure. And how are you? Cold. Cold? I think I get too cold. I can't really... Too cold. Bring a blanket, I guess. Yeah. So the cold disturbed your rest and relaxation? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes. That is what happens. So next time when you come, it is better. You, those who people who cold, you look at her? Mm. 
what she did. So you should be ready for it. Now you simply uh, start covering yourself with a blanket and then you, uh, uh, you see the dog? So it, it should be there. But don't worry, I'll take care of your mind, not you. <laughs> so how are you, sir? Very deep, deep, yeah. That's wonderful. That's a deeper experience. So that is all for today in the session.